Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Ford Focus, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Roadmaster Toad Vehicle Battery Charge Line Kit. Uh, before we do that though, let's just check this out and talk about why it's a good idea to run one of these. A battery charge line kit is something that I recommend for pretty much every flat tow that I set up. And I said it because it's gonna keep your battery in the vehicle topped off and charged whenever you're flat towing. Um, and the reason that your battery can potentially go dead is for one, just kind of having it in flat tow mode. Certain vehicles are set up that way, but the supplemental braking systems are gonna use the vehicle's battery to operate whenever you hit the brakes. And so you do that for hours and hours and hours. It can deplete the battery and potentially leave it flat. When you get to where you're going, you know, it's a bummer. You disconnect, you got a dead battery. So using a kit like this is gonna keep everything uh, topped off keep your battery in good shape and give you the confidence knowing everything will fire up when you want it to. In order for this kit to work though, you are gonna have to have a seven way on your motor home, which most of them do. And it's gonna have to have the 12 volt auxiliary power, which again, most of them do, especially if it's more of a late model motor home. But the auxiliary power will come from your motor home, run through the wire into a six-way round style connector. So that's the type of connector plug you're gonna to need to hook this charge line up. Charge line's hooked to the back of it. It'll run through a wire and go into the engine compartment. That wire runs up to a circuit breaker, which we have mounted here. And so the circuit is protected. If a short or something like that were to happen, it would trip the breaker and you're not gonna mess any of your other electrical components up. And then it'll just plug into your battery post. And that's how it's going to maintain or trickle charge, if you will, your vehicle's battery. Now, with that said, your battery is gonna have to be in good working order. You know, if it's on the verge of letting go anyway, this kit isn't gonna bring it back or anything like that. So keep that in mind. And a lot of people wonder too, if this kit is going to affect their motorhome's batteries and, and things like that. And the answer is no. The motorhome has uh, its own alternator that's going to keep its battery's charged up, and that's what the 12 volt auxiliary power is for anyway, to send that additional amperage back. Um, and that's what we're gonna utilize to keep our battery uh, all charged up. So at the end of the day, uh, really a no brainer to use a kit like this. Um, why even bother with taking the risk of having that flat battery and running it down quicker than it needs to? Um, as far as the installation goes, really simple. Uh, you have a wire you got to hook up to your six-way, mount up the breaker, and hook up the wire to the battery. So uh, really not a whole lot to it, and this is something I recommend doing while you're setting your whole setup up a little bit easier that way. But if not, if you're going to be adding this later on, not really a huge deal either. But uh, with that said, why don't we go ahead, pull into the garage, and put it on together now. To begin our installation for our battery charge line, we're going to be here at the front, and we need to hook up the power wire to the back of our connector plug. So I definitely suggest doing this the same time that you're not only doing your base plate because you got all this room to work, that's why our face is off, but your diode wiring as well because then you only have to get in here one time. So what you're gonna do, take your red wire, take one end of it, run it through the rubber boot there, and then we're gonna strip the end of the insulation back just a little bit Maybe about a quarter inch or so, like that. That wire, good twist. And then on the back of our six way, we have a terminal there in the middle. That's the one that we're gonna be using. So you can back out that screw with a small Phillips head screwdriver. And you're gonna place that into the terminal. And tighten that screw back down. Once you verify everything works, is come back, fill this up full of silicone to help prevent corrosion and, and any shorts or anything like that that could occur. So for now, I'll just temporarily put our boot on and secure this just to keep it in place. And we can start to route our charge line up into the engine compartment. So I just have it loosely routed. It'll kind of come up through here, right in this area. 
that wire, like I said, I got it running up through here then over by our positive battery terminal. Um, and I mounted up our circuit breaker here. So this, you want to get it close to the battery. Um, in our case, I just secured it to our battery box and you could use the self tappers, I suppose, but I didn't want anything pointy inside there. So I just drilled a couple holes and used a nut and a bolt to secure this. And then I cut our wire to length here. That way we can hook it to the breaker. So I cut it, stripped it back. You're going to take one of these small ring terminals and crimp that on. And then that is going to go to the gold colored post. So it just slides over. Take the nut. And tighten that down. So that's going to use a 3 8 size socket. And with these, you just need to snug them up. You know, you don't need to get crazy cranking down on them. And then what you can do, so you had some leftover wire from cutting that. You can build the other end here. And so in our case, it's maybe six, eight inch piece of wire. Strip the ends back one end, put on a small ring terminal. The other end you put on the larger terminal and it's pretty straightforward from here. Go back to the breaker. This is a silver colored post. That end, small end's gonna go on that end. That's snug. Once you got that tight, the other end can go to your positive battery post. Your end might look a little different. Um, this is just what we're doing because we are adding a battery disconnect. So this is a style of terminal, but regardless, you hook it to the positive post. And get this tightened down. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster towed vehicle battery charge line kit on our 2017 Ford Focus.